D and Johnny using the spoon mic. D thinks it's ridiculous. This is like a boon mic, but a spoon. It's like Coca-Cola, Levi Strauss, Johnny Carson and Mickey Mouse. The first star was James Dean. Helmets Presley, yeah, he's still the king. Some things are only imitatable. You can't be that original. Hey there, friends and foes. This is John Pike of the Prophet of Pop Culture. You can call me Johnny. I'm here with Back of the Cereal Box, and I am here with D. Barty, also from Back of the Cereal Box. No way. D. Barty, we are here at ICCCon, and we just walked the vendor floor together. And what do you think of this year's ICC? Dude, it's freaking awesome. Like, this vendor floor is insane. Insane. It's huge. And and did you see anything cool that you wanted to take home? Or... That. The Jeep. The Jurassic Park Jeep. Oh, oh, and the, the giant Marshmallow oh, Man. Oh, the Stay Puft Marshmallow Man over my shoulder in the corner. Look at that. And I really want to go interview these guys, the droid builders. It's really neat. Well, let's do it. Well, I think we should. Hi, everybody. D here with Back at the Cereal Box. And I'm here with Scott. Say your last name again. Kineski. Yeah, that. And <laughs> I'm so sorry. And look, so, okay, tell me a little bit about yourself. Because I'm a little, like, flabbergasted at the moment. Because everything I'm looking at is just so amazing. So, uh, so we're with the astromech.net group. It's a worldwide uh, group that we build our own full-size R2-D2s and you know other astromech droids from Star Wars. Um, yeah, we, I like to view us as a support group. We help each other uh, build whatever R2 or, or other astromech that we, you know, per person wants to build. I mean, this is just amazing. So we were talking earlier about they actually use some of your droids in in what you talk about that <laughs> sure so um anytime you see a traveling show around that has an r2 in it um lucas arts or disney will reach out to whoever's in the local area that has a completed droid that meets their requirements and they'll actually hire people to come out and do those droids the uh actually the the builder who built the the droids for the last series of of movies was in the UK was actually a builder from the group that they hired to build those droids in the movies. So you guys are like all over then. Yeah, we're a worldwide organization. Oh, that is so awesome! And I'm seeing like, like they're remote, right? Oh, yeah, yeah, they're all the, they're all remote controlled. They're all remote controlled. Look at that. Okay, so how do we find you? Are you what platforms are you? Are you on all the platforms? Uh, oh. So yeah, so there a lot of group, a lot of the I local groups you. have Facebooks. Uh, the the worldwide group is astromech.net. Um, that has all. If you join that 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 website, that has all the information that you would need to research and reach okay. out to people to, to build whatever it is that you want to build. That's awesome. Well, thank you so much. Sure, no problem. Thank you for having us. So we're here. We're back at the cereal box with Hannah Klein. So tell me a little bit, like you just said you just finished this last night. This is amazing. Thank you so much. Yeah, it's an Imperial Surplus Kit that I put together last night. Um, well, not just last night, in the past like five days. Um, but it is a Legacy Fem TK kit, but I'm making it my Fem Shadow Trooper. <laughs> and she came together quite quickly. That is so I do awesome. love her though. <laughs> so tell me a little bit about like... Do you have any more? Do you, like, what yeah. got you started in this? Um, oh, my gosh. I think my first cosplay was out of the closet, and then it just went deeper and deeper from there, and now I own many cosplays. This is my second trooper that I've built. I do have a third. It's a red trooper that I'm going to put together, so I'm really Ooh, excited about that. Red's cool. kind of my color, so. I love that. That's <laughs> awesome. 
Okay, so how do we find you? What's your Instagram? How do people get in contact with you? Yeah, so my handle is the Hannah Klein. Um, and I know that my cereal preference has not changed. It's still Fruity Pebbles. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> well, I have your spoon here. The spoon. <laughs> Hi, everybody. D Bar T here again. And I am here with Kevin from Saber Strong. Kevin, tell me a little bit about Saber Strong, what you do. Okay. And he's a big fan, by the way. <laughs> Saber Strong is a lightsaber combat um, group. How Which, awesome is that? And, and from is, what I hear, you're the grandmaster? I'm just the master. Just the master. Just the master. I'm going to be humble and just the master. <laughs> but uh, we meet in Mount Juliet, Tennessee, and one night a week. We, like I said, it's a saber combat, so it is actual combat with a lightsaber. Oh my gosh. Think, that is so cool. Think, your, um, think fencing. Okay. With a lightsaber. Okay. So we have pads, helmets, uh, gloves, gear, stuff like that. And we go out there and we try to score points by hitting people. So I'm, is this like your, your actual lightsaber that you use? Can I, can I hold it? Sure. Is it heavy? Nope. Okay. Look at that. You, know, you really do some damage with that. Mm -hmm. We can fight two-handed. We can fight one-handed. The only ones we don't really fight with, sorry Ahsoka, but we don't do reverse grips. <laughs> I don't even know what that means. <laughs> Kevin is so impressive as a master because he's legally blind. So basically, I use the force to fight people. He uses the force, literally uses the force, which I know what that is. So you guys should be impressed that I know what that is. Hey everybody, this is Dee Barty here with Back of the Cereal Box, which is why I'm talking into a spoon, and why everybody else is going to have to talk into a spoon. It, it's gotten very distracting here at ICCC Con. I am here with for, for a cosplay. <laughs> this is a great organization, and I'm going to let them tell you about it. What is your name, sir? My name is Scott Sweeney, and my wife has all the answers. Hey, tell I'm everybody Kimberly you Sweeney, <laughs> and I'm his wife. So tell me a little bit about your organization and why this is such an amazing for a cause play. Oh, it's no. cause, not, yeah. So we started it back in December. Um, we fe felt there was a need to sit there and uh, connect all the different cosplay groups around Middle Tennessee, uh, Tennessee in general, and the Southeast. Um, so we connect the LFL groups, um, other cosplay groups like Cosplay Collective, um, the Aerialists, uh, Ghostbusters, and basically if they have a need for cosplayers, they can reach out and we can make sure that anyone who's a member of our organization, they have a costume but not a member of them, they can go to the event. And the same thing for the LFLs, not all the LFL event requests get approved. So our goal is to make sure that those events get um, someone in cosplay at those events when they're needed. That is fantastic. Yeah. So we were talking a little earlier about the hospital thing. Can you elaborate on that to our viewers? Well, our sponsor is uh, IC Toys, and uh, we're getting another new sponsor, which will be donating toys. And we take the toys and give them to... Uh, a charity called uh, for, uh, With Love, and uh, they they distribute them because they know there's different rules now after the COVID that they have to pass before they're taken into the hospital for the children. Um, and then we help the homeless with sanitary stuff, uh, alcohol wipes, and uh, underwear, socks, and if they need any someone to talk to, uh, so I'll talk to them the ones that. You know, they're kind of out of it, and I don't mind sitting there listening and waiting for them to oh. do what they gotta do. But uh, okay, so how do you guys operate? Is it purely on like donations or? So I mean, we're in the process of getting our 501c3. Okay. Um, but right now we are just a cosplay organization. We're not just Star Wars. We are basically anything you could possibly think of. We've got Disney. We've got Beast over here. We've got pirate costumes and pirates. Um, we've got. Uh, uh, 
all kinds of different characters that are a part of our group, and the, the goal is to just make sure that we have fun and, and bring up. smiles to people's faces. So where can we find you? How can um, we support you? So we you? actually have a Facebook page. Um, you can type in for a cosplay um, into Facebook, and you'll be able to find our page. So this um, is for a cause play. Yes. Like C-A-U-S-E. <laughs> yeah. Not right. Yeah. Um, and eventually we'll get a full-blown website and, and have a message board and everything like that to get connected with everybody. Awesome. Well, thank you, guys. Thank yeah, you for thank your you. time. You're welcome. And I appreciate it.